So hello and welcome to the first episode of my Skyrim Let's Play playthrough, whatever you want to call it. I I couldn't have really been wanting to do something like this for a long time. I'm gonna try and not talk too much at the beginning. I have taken the liberty of skipping through the little introduction cinematic as far as here. I'm about to kind of create my character and everything for those of you who know Skyrim or even the Elder Scrolls at all. I have skipped that bit, but anyway, yeah. So I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. And yeah, Skyrim's just a really easy game to um, to get into, to record without really being super competitive. It's not that difficult, that competitive. It's easy just to talk while I'm doing it. So I'm going to create my character while we just get used to the idea of me playing Skyrim on YouTube. So that's the thing. Yeah, so I've watched a few of these things, Let's Plays and stuff before, and I really just thought Skyrim would be a good idea. Like. So the build I usually go for, I usually end up with some kind of sneaky archer type thing. I kind of want to involve magic somewhat as well. I haven't been a wood elf in ages. I do remember the first time I ever played this game. I think I was a high elf. I didn't do that much sneaking, I hadn't really figured that out at that point, but I do remember doing a lot of magic. And I remember the College of Winterhold questline being, I don't know, just really fun. I was off school sick for like three weeks so I just did that anyway I've, I'm talking way too much and you are all wanting me to make my character you're gonna have war paint that's are you gonna have that war paint it's gonna be like reddish purple none of that that eh, it's, it's red it's not purple but it's it's a dark red I guess if that counts hmm that just looks like you have those like sci-fi Star Trek things in your eyes <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, that's not important. Hey, how does that look? We'll go for that. We'll go for that. I'm just going to make whatever character looks interesting to me. So, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of stealth. I'm not usually the kind of person to do much in the way of, like, warrior and heavy armor and that kind of thing. I, th I feel like that's partly because I'm small and also quite light. I was really, like, a bit underweight and thin um, when I was younger. I used to play football when I was a lot younger and I was constantly being like fouled and tackled and pushed all over the place because I was so small. So I think in just every sense, I'm not usually, even in games when I'm role playing, when I'm kind of making it my character, I don't often make characters that are like big and strong and, and bulky because that's just not me in real life. So I'm going to do a little bit of stealth, a little bit of magic, a little bit of, I don't know what weapons. Honestly, we'll figure that out as we go. The exact balance will definitely kind of evolve over time, over this playthrough. But I know what I'm going to start off with anyway, so that's, that's always a good place to start. Is the start, is the beginning, obviously. Where else would you start? I, I usually spend far too much time on this character creation. I'm going to really try and not do that this time. I definitely usually do that. I just want everything to be perfect. And then I create the wrong character and five minutes into the playthrough, I go back and make another one. That's usually how I do things. Um, so I'm really going to try and not do that this time. That'll do... You can have facial hair. Imagine a wood elf with facial hair. How weird does that look? I'm kind of tempted to do it though. So my hair is like black, but not really that color. Maybe that color, I guess. I had some highlights put in recently, but you can't really see it on camera. But anyway, I think that's my character, and we're going to call... Do I have enough room for this name? I don't know if I have enough characters for my full name. But we're going to try it. Nope, that's not capital. That's capital. Um, yes, I would like to have spaces between things. How do I do that? That's how I do it. Oops. Oops, I'm pressing buttons. Um, yes space and space we do have there we go there we go i maybe shouldn't have capitalized oh yeah so i have mods installed as well for those of you who know about skyrim or about mods in general a few years ago when you released skyrim special edition they allowed you on consoles to do mods you've always been able to do it on pc i'm playing on xbox one by the way and one of the mods i have is to like change the way you create your character in the beginning to make it a bit more kind of um typical rpg i guess with classes things like that 
Again, I'm going to try and not take too long over this. I'm kind of a stealthy person, so... Um, nah, I'm not going to do that right now. So yeah, I'm definitely not. Warrior, I think... Wait, Thief? I should, I should go... Actually, no. I'm going through this all so many times, probably. I'm going to go Lady, because I'm a beautiful lady, obviously. Um, yeah, so it has this class system, which, honestly, I really like. I feel like it gives you more option rather than less, even though sometimes RPGs can give you less options because of um, classes that kind of mean you really have no option other than what they assign to you. Let's see, smithing. But in Skyrim, basically your stat spread, generally, in, in the normal game, is only set by... Let's see, I'm gonna have to lose the armor. Is only set by your race, which how many races are there? Like nine or ten? So that really, really limits what you're able to actually do, I think, with your, your stat spread. So I really much prefer doing this because you have how many options? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times three, twenty-one, which is a lot more than ten. Obviously, if you can, you know, I, I'm not good at counting, but I know that much. I'm able to count that much. So I need a magic class that relies a bit on stealth, which is none of these. Nightblade, I think that's it. Yes, this is exactly what I'm wanting to do. Be a sneaky little magic-y person. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Elf. By order. Elves are people too. Elves are people too. We'll make sure it remains our turn to Valen with. Well, thank you, that's very Follow kind of you. Prisoner. Like, is that supposed to make me feel better? You're about to cut my head off. And you're saying, well, make sure you return, your remains are returned back home. You know? Like, we're oh, nice people at heart. Some here in Helgen call so, you a hero, but a hero this game's obviously been out for nine years. I'm really not sure at the beginning how much I should talk and how much I should just let this dialogue play through. You started this war. But I know people, like, I know people who've never played Skyrim, and that shocks me, honestly, but it does exist. They do exist, and so maybe some of you haven't played Skyrim, so you just want me to shut up and listen to the dialogue. So I will try and balance those two things, and me talking and making it interesting, but also, you know, gameplay. At least at the beginning. I think as we get further into the game, there'll be less need for talking. I do have dialogue text on, on. so you can at least read what's happening, even if you can't hear anything beyond my continuous voice. My ancestors are smiling at me. Imagine just standing on someone. You say the same. Ouch. Vive la France! Except it's not a guillotine, is it? The revolution begins here. Except, in this case, it's the rebels for being executed, not doing the executing. So yeah, I mean, this game is obviously kind of... <laughs> adult, in some senses, there is violence, but I mean, it's, it's Skyrim. It's not that serious. So, don't watch this if you're 10, but apart from that, you're fine. Oh no, it's my turn to be dead. Is this how the game ends, guys? Is this just the end of the game? I'm gonna die, and that's game over. I mean, it's been nice, like, you know, we're finished, it's been nice. Wait, oh, like a dragon. Oh, no. See, I feel like any normal dragon would just, like, breathe fire, and I'd be dead. Is that what's gonna happen? I mean, that's not fire. I, I have no idea what this is. Spoiler alert, I have played this game. <laughs> um, still don't know what happens there. You know, fiery meteors are flying on my head. Is that you? Hello. Ah, uh, well, those rocks just disappeared. Yeah, so this is a Bethesda game, so there's probably going to be a lot of funny glitches. Disappearing rocks. It's a dragon. No, but dragons do. Right? It's a dragon. Hey, look, a little hidey hole. Um, so I'm going to go up these stairs. Up. That's exactly where I'm going. Oh, oops. Oh, hello. Ah! Fire. Well, I think there was a guy there. I think that guy is dead. Yes, he is. Um, I... Um, jump. Ow! Jump. Ow! That did a lot of damage. I mean, I guess in real life, if I were jumping that distance, I would definitely hurt my ankle or something. 
Oh, hello. Uh, I should probably not be in the way of the fire. Fire is a bad thing to be in the way of. Um, just in case there's anybody out there who doesn't know that. Stay away from fire. <laughs> um, stay away from dragons as well, but I feel like you're less likely to encounter that in your general life. Hey look, a poor woman. She's definitely alive. Like, I could definitely just... Could I pick her up? Actually, now that I think about it. Could I pick that woman up in real life and, you know... Um, who's escaping? Hey, Hadvar. I don't really like either of these guys. Can I just, like, go my own way? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna follow him. So yeah, I do generally kind of choose the Imperials of the Storm Clocks usually, but obviously this beginning bit doesn't matter in that choice who you go with into the keep. Doesn't really matter there. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Hadfar. Even though he's the most idiotic voice and it's hilarious. Yes, it was. Oh yeah, I can't get a sword. My hands are still tied, aren't they? Keep Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, let, let's please do that. Please get my bindings off. Oh, it feels so good to be free again. I feel like I didn't mean to make him as bulky, like those shoulders. He definitely has muscly shoulders. Like if I take this off, look how toned his back is. That's partly a mod. I, again, I did put mods in this game to make people just look prettier because, I mean, let's be honest, we're going to be looking at this game a lot. Like we want everything to look pretty and nice, including the people. Like people, people are pretty sometimes, you know, so. It's just how it goes. I'm gonna drop these useless things. I have a sword. I'm gonna. S Oops. You're my friend. Didn't mean it. Sorry. Oops. Hey, look, another sword. Um, I feel like when I get out of here, getting gold is gonna be an important thing. So I'm just gonna like pick up whatever I see, so I can sell it afterwards. Obviously, in Skyrim, you can just carry a million things. It's like. Where do I have the space for two swords? Do I have a sword in my pocket? Do I have one under my t-shirt? Is that what's going on here? You know, RPGs. <laughs> That's what happens. Skyrim especially, because you get to the max carry weight, it's like, I have 200 items and I'm fine, and you pick up one item and suddenly you're carrying too much. Fight back! Oh no. Oh no. No, not death to the Empire. Um, well, death to the Empire if you want, just not death to me. Like, I don't want death. That's not a thing I am particularly aiming for. Ow. Oops. That looked painful. Um, but I guess that's the point. Like, you know, we are, we are fighting, we are enemies. So, like, I guess it's supposed to be painful. I'm also though trying to pick up things that are like valuable to their weight. If you pick up really a lot of iron things, especially early in the game, they weigh a lot and they're not worth a lot and it's just not that useful. Ow. Well, that's a shame. Hey look, people. Uh you have a big weapon. You have you have big you have big things. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah. Eh. This is going really badly. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, there's another thing. I might put the difficulty up if this is too easy. Again, Skyrim's not a super competitive game. It's not that difficult, usually. Like, there's not that much of a chance to it. Skyrim's more about exploration, about your character. Hey, look, that was a really cool come up. About your character. You can spend time just, like, doing nothing in particular and wandering around, and I, I do love that about Skyrim. But if it does get a bit easy, like, yeah, let's have let's have something of a challenge, especially, like, I played this game a lot. So, let's, you know, try something of a challenge. I don't really have any... Oh, I have one hour. <laughs> one single arrow, I'll throw it at someone as well, do. Don't have a bow to fire said arrow. Salt pile. I'm gonna need to use that. I'm, I'm also gonna do some alchemy in this playthrough. Um, just a bit, not a lot, obviously, because, like... Am I gonna spend three hours on YouTube just making potions? Probably not. But I mean, I like to roleplay my characters a little bit, and and this guy like stealthy magic stuff. Oh, magic, magic! Why did I forget about this? I am not very intelligent, so magic, and then I can like do this. Wait, are you are you on my side? 
You are on my side. Oops, sorry. Oops, I want to use magic on someone. Hey, look, lockpicks. And a book. Let's read a book, guys. A Brief History of the Empire, Part 1. By Stronach Cthoi the Third. Cthodge. Cthoi. Who knows? Um. Cyber Septim, Tamriel Chaos, Emperor's Grandson, Pelagius, No Living Children, Crown, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Antiochus was certainly one of the more flamboyant members of the usually austere Septim family. There you go. Some interesting historical knowledge. This is too much for us to read. Thus began the War of the Red Diamond, described in Volume 2 of this series. That was a great read, guys. That was a really fantastic read, and I'm really glad we did that. I've learned so much, and I think I'm ready to pass my exams now. After reading that. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Yeah, it was a dragon. Come with us. We need to get out of here. Big scary roar, dragon roar. <laughs> I mean. If he wants to stay here and not do anything Wait useful, looks, looks like there's something in this cage. Yes, there is a man in this cage. Really? Really? You didn't just like feed him? I mean, you're a torturer, so like, I guess that is like your whole name, that is your whole identity. And I don't know why I'd expect you to be nice to your inmates. Like, hello, I'm Torturer. I'm really a very nice guy. Don't let the name fool you. I'm gonna wear this hood because I am gonna do some magic, as I said. I don't really know how I'm gonna balance armor and magic stuff at the moment. Like, again, I'm gonna work this out as we go. I just, I just know how I'm starting the game. And I've got a sword, I've got light armor and some stealthy stealth and a magic hood thing. And fire. Fire. I know I- like, guys, guys, I did tell you to stay away from fire just like two minutes ago. But, you know, that's what I'm gonna be doing. There's just fire everywhere. Fire! The ring of fire. Ring of fire? Is that what they call the, the bubble thing in Finding Nemo? Where's the way out? I'm not an Imperial and I'm not a dog, although dogs are lovely, I do have a dog. He is a Greyhound, he is fantastic. Ow, 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 ow! Okay, actually it's not... You know what? I'm gonna take the risk, I'm gonna put the the difficulty up. I might bring it back down again. If, we, if I start dying all over the place and it just is not an entertaining thing, I'll put the difficulty up. But, I have played this game a lot and... Fire! Fire! <laughs> Watch me just ignore all of my previous advice about fire safety. That's it! Ow! Ow! Yes. I love the kill moves with one-handed swords. I mean, there's some other good kill moves with other weapons, I guess. Wait, I have a bow now. I have a bow. I'm probably not really going to use a bow, actually, now that I think about it. Because, like, I have magic for long range combat but I have my sword for short range um close close range you know what I mean close combat that thing so I'm probably not going to use a bow that much I do do archery a lot on Skyrim usually um definitely that's a thing I do quite often when I'm making stealthy characters especially but I think this time I'm gonna not do that. Hey, look, a skeleton. Wonder what this guy died of. It's clearly been a long time. Right, guys, do you do you know how long it takes for a skeleton to be, like, perfectly decomposed like this? I don't. Just asking. I really don't. Just assuming, you know. Like, why, why are the random caves with skeletons in? Have you ever been in a cave in real life with a skeleton? Don't actually... Don't answer that question. <laughs> um, and why do skeletons have gold? Like, why are the skeletons rich in Skyrim? Where do you find gold on a skeleton? Oh no, spiders. I don't like spiders in real life. I don't like spiders in Skyrim. Eh, don't like it. Does not like. Not hap. Not happy about this at all. There we go. There we go. 
I hope that's the end of that. Look how many eyes they have. Like, at least three. Guys, can you count three? I can't. Um, yeah, so let's get as far away from the spiders. Where am I going? That way. Why did I feel it was that way? This way. No, wait, is that the way I came? I'm literally so confused. That way, no, guys, you're going to say I'm an absolute idiot. Yeah, there we go. It is this way. It is this way. I keep going on about how I've played this game before, and then I just make stupid mistakes. So here's a bear. Are we going to stealth it? We're going to try. We are going to try and stealth it. So much tension in this game when you're stealthing. So, like, I have other, like, open world RPGs that I enjoy. But none of them do. Oh, no. <laughs> none of them do sneaking like Skyrim. That's one of the things that Skyrim does really well. And magic. I mean, I know, again, combat of all sorts is not a big focus in this game, but the stealth. The stealth's enjoyable because you can just. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but you can just take ages over it and focus and it's one of the few things you actually have to focus on in this game uh -huh. that's a really br bright light coming from there I can only assume the sun is on fire the sun is on fire <laughs> what am I saying or it's not you know science how long have we been recording uh, this is so unprofessional I should not even check um, yes, yeah, so I've not even slightly checked how long I've been recording, but what I can do is I can save it and see how long we've been in this thing. So that was 11 minutes 40, and this is now 26. We've been recording for 15 minutes, so I'll keep going. I feel like half an hour-ish episodes like he's gone for good this time. are a good length. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. But I might adjust that. I might make them a bit shorter at first and get longer as we go through. Your uncle. Your uncle. Why do you have an uncle in the closest town? That's just so coincidental. Wait, split up? Wait, so if we're splitting up, why are you following me? That's not what splitting up means, Hadvar. Like, Hadvar. Oh wait, are you breaking up with me? Hadvar! It's breaking up with me. Now I have to, have you know, eat ice cream and cry. Imperial Legion. You mean the Roman Legion? It's basically what this is. Roman Legion in a Viking inspired world. Makes total sense, you know? Don't question it, guys. Just, just go with it, you know? Ruin. Oh yeah, the weird... Like, what is it? I've never seen a building or ruins that look like that, but I guess that's kind of the point. Like, Skyrim is not real. It's shocking. I already have a, a blessing thing, which is what I chose at the start of the game when I was doing my character creation. Um, if you want to change your character creation, you can just do this. I actually feel like I should give a quick run through of some of the mods I am using. Um, so I'm just going to show that off a little. Because some of you may have played Skyrim just normally, vanilla, without mods. You may be not the kind of people that use mods, or maybe you didn't know... Uh, no, actually I'm not going to sign in on camera, because you guys don't get to see what my email address and stuff is. Shh. Yeah, I'll check. I'll do that next episode or something. I'll, I'll show off the mods I've got. Just so you can see what kind of changes are I mean mostly it's graphical things mostly it just makes the grass look prettier like look at that look at the detail in that Skyrim is a really beautiful game anyway um, I know it's 2011 and definitely like my other favorite game I guess is The Witcher 3 and you can definitely notice a big step up in graphical quality in The Witcher but Skyrim especially the special edition when the Xbox One came out is a really beautiful game like, look at the mountains, look at the snow and the sky and just the, the grass and the leaves. Like, there's probably better quality leaves in the world, especially when you do that. But let's not focus too much, you know, on that. Skyrim is still just the atmosphere. 
again, it's one of those games you can really wander around the setting for hours and hours and, and not do a lot. Hey, flowers. Pretty flowers. Wait, can I not pick them? Can I not pick the pretty flowers? You said... Oh, he said we should split up, and then he's like, I'm really glad you decided to come with me. Make your mind up, Advar. Make your mind up. Why did I think there was wolves when I played this game before? I thought you got attacked by wolves, but I just ran to Riverwood and there's no wolves. Either my memory is terrible, or the game is different. Oh hey look, <laughs> another mod, random guys. There's your uncle, where's your uncle? Chicken, uncle is this your uncle? <gasps> uncle, Uncle Arvar, Alvar, Alvar. Oh the chicken, the chicken's not your, the chicken's not his uncle. Chick it's not his uncle. You're his uncle. I mean you could be a chicken. But we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? I am a friend. Save my a friend. Back. I'm Come Michael on, Lefrivia. I'm just wearing this hood to look cool. Please don't think I'm a, an intimidating hoodie guy. Look, see, I have nice paint. Like, okay, war paint okay, is only worn by nice people. Couldn't possibly be a barbarian with war paint. That would just be silly. <gasps> Shh! You mean, mustn't mother? tell people. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's a conspiracy. You're not allowed to tell people about the dragon. I don't really want to go inside. Can I just, like, take your things? What are you two doing here? The the voices and accents in Skyrim are hilarious. I'm going to take some bread. Mead. I do like mead. If you guys have never had mead, you should definitely... Wait, no way. I wanted to take more things. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> a dragon attacked Helgen. Yes, a dragon. Helgen? Yes, and Helgen. Explains what I saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Flying down the valley from the south. Mm -hmm. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Mm -mm. You weren't wrong. It was a dragon. That's not my character's voice. My character's voice is me because I am Michael of Rivia. That is me. First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company. No, they say misery Jarl loves company, not to trouble. We need to get word to Jarl yes, I can take your supplies again I because I forgot I didn't get yes for smithing. Rabbit. I have eaten rabbit once. Sorry, bunny rabbits are cute, but it happens. Oh, wait, yeah, and I should go into you guys' house. I should sell some things actually. Some of the weapons I picked up in Helgen. So they're not just weighing me down the One whole time. To do something. I said no. Adventures? No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. I'll do adventures. Well, what are you going to do then? I'm, I like theatrics. Theatrics. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> yeah, how unprofessional looking. I'm not supposed to argue in front of the customer. It's just Trinkets, unprofessional. That sort of thing. Right, so that's buying things. I have 50 gold. That's useless. 93 gold. Wonderful. I'm not going to use a shield at the moment. I'm going to leave that to disenchant. I know, a shield might be needed later in the game. A shield definitely might be needed. But we'll wait and see. Especially with my slightly increased carry weight. I'm not going to make any decision on that just yet. So, I think I might actually go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Wait, is that what he said? Do I have to go to Bleak Falls Barrow to find- No, I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. We're supposed to go to Whiterun and tell the Jarl that there's been a dragon attack. At which point he'll probably think I'm crazy and he'll, like, have me put in jail or something. That's what I would do if I were a Jarl, you know? And someone came up to me and said, A dragon attacked Edinburgh. It's probably what would happen. But I didn't actually ask him what the problem is. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in Yeah, whatever. Did something happen? We, we did have a, a bit of a, a break in. We still have plenty to sell. An ornament. Solid gold. An ornament. Dragon's claw. Why is everything around dragons here, you know? <laughs> People are so shocked that dragons are coming back, but you know they have they have dragon claw ornaments everywhere. 
like Actually, that. saying that, I have dragon ornaments everywhere. I was looking for a dragon. It's over there. I can't get it at the moment. So now you don't have to go, do you? Retrieve the golden claw. Which is... How do I get out of this there? No, that's white run. I think it's here. It's Bleak Falls Barrow. I might go there before white run so I can just do two things at once. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow and then go straight to white run. It's probably the sensible way to do it. Hey chicken. Chickens are my favorite. Hey horsey. Chickens are not. He's called Jelly Bean. He's called Jelly Bean. Oh, an adorable name for a horse. No, I don't like chickens, actually. I'm just... Joking about that. There is another horse up here. So, yeah. You will just notice things from mods as we go through this. Like this little horse here. Who is definitely from a mod. And a dead adventurer who is definitely also from a mod. I didn't mean that unlucky adventure. Clearly was unlucky. I'm going to take these things, though, because... Which I'm not going to take these. I'm going to take some of those things I can sell. Peanut butter. We had jelly bean and now we have peanut butter. Peanut butter is my lovely cream horse. I'm not an equestrian. I don't know what horses are called. I'm taking my sword out because it looks fancy. Oh, hey, like a wolf. Ow. Ow. Oh, no. This is taking more hits than I thought. To kill a wolf. Stop running away! I mean, actually, feel free to run away. I guess. I mean, alright, you got. You got bored of fighting, so, you know, we're just gonna. We're gonna do this peaceful. Wait, pacifist run, guys. Pacifist playthrough of Skyrim. Because the wolves don't wanna fight, and. If wolves don't wanna fight, you know, you're just out of options, really. Hey, look, a tower. Again, look how beautiful this game is. <laughs> I'm just going to stop periodically every five minutes of this Let's Play to look at how beautiful Skyrim is. And I don't even care. Not even sorry about that. I'm going to get off my horse. Hey, look, a, a man. Let's, let's see if he's a nice man. Hey, sir. Hey. Can I have a, a hug? Hey. Bandit. Oh no. Oh no. No, he doesn't want to give me a hug. Wait, maybe he does want to give me a hug. He doesn't want to give me a hug with his axe. Like, sir, you don't hug with axes. That's very dangerous. You might hurt someone. It's okay. I know you don't understand. I know you just want to be friendly, but, you know, if you're going to be friendly, put your axe down. That's my advice to all of you. If you're going to give someone a hug, put sharp objects down. What did you just say? Are you an elf? No, you're an orc. I think you're an orc. Someone said bow to something. I don't really... You? Was that me? Did I tell the bandit to bow to your something? So yeah, at the moment, this difficulty is going okay. Definitely going okay. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this. I mean, if if later in the game I feel like... Um, no, I'm going to stick... <laughs> the hood clips. I mean, come on, Skyrim. Come on, Bethesda. You can do better than that. Actually, no, I am going to wear that studded armor. It does look nice, even though it's the exact same armor rating. But, you know, we're going to... Again, a mod that makes it look different. Why am I angry? Stop being angry. Stop going... Rrr. I is angry at the world. It's because that guy tried to give me a hug with his axe. And, like, I wasn't very nice. Um, I think there's a chest at the top of here with things in it. Yes, there is. Hide helmet. Gold. So we're going to go down here, we're going to keep going. Are we going get, to get to Bleak Falls Barrow today? Let's check how long we've been doing this. So obviously that was 26 minutes, that was 15 minutes in. Actually, we're almost half an hour in, we're almost um, done with this. I think I'm going to stay here for now, because this is the first episode. 
I just want to give you guys time to kind of, I don't know, just watch it, settle in. I really hope you're enjoying so far what we've got and any feedback we really appreciated. What would also be appreciated is people to, you know, like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can see all those notifications when I do upload things. Um, and I don't know how regular the series is going to be. Definitely, maybe a few times a week. I do really want to continue this regularly. I do have other things going on in my channel, music videos and geography videos and, and whatever else from time to time. So I really hope whoever's watching this has enjoyed it. And I will see you for the next episode. You have to be there. So bye for now.